It's 20 past 11. If you've been watching the D-Live, you would have seen that we dug deep into the Omnus Yellow Cassette. The first... Well, it's the first foray into music that I ever undertook in terms of performing music. Um, well, without sort of talking too much about it, because if you want to see that, I guess you can check the D-Live. Um, but this is a demo cassette that, well not a demo cassette, just a cassette of five songs that we recorded, myself and my cousin Gav, uh, with the help of two friends who could actually perform, uh, play instruments, uh, Luke Webb on drums and Andrew Tope on saxophone, of all things, and then me and Gav, Gav on bass and me on guitar. Now, we couldn't, we couldn't play, I couldn't play guitar at the time. Gav couldn't play bass. We'd never learnt about anything to do with music. We'd never learned. We didn't even tune our instruments. We didn't know how to play. We didn't know what notes and chords were. We just, we just wanted to get sound. And so what I'm doing now, for an upcoming That's Um release, it's 2019. By the time this That's Um release comes out, it'll be 2020. I'm going to re-record one song from this demo cassette and I'm struggling big time because of how um we were back in the day. Like, first of all, the first thing I've noticed here is that the tempo changes randomly throughout the song. That's, I guess that's no surprise. I've got a tempo change right here um, for this duration, for, for whatever happens in, in here, and then the tempo changes back. And on the timeline here, I've kind of, I want, I'm, these, these here are, are new drum parts that I'm trying to like lay down like, I want to get a drum part together first that I can play along, but it just, there's no way to work this crap out. Like, where, where does this even begin? Let's mute that one, sorry. Hear the, hear the click track? So that's, that's the first tempo I've noticed, and then if I bring it forward a little bit, the tempo changes right here. I think I've pretty much got that down, and then, and then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to lay down this track here, it's going to be a real drum track, it's going to go all the way through, um, and then I'm going to play the guitar, basically I'm going to re-record this, this thing from the, from the whole way through. But here's, here's the, um, now, I have to unmute that one. Here's the tempo change. Hang on, you probably didn't catch that. I'll go back to here. Okay, there's something, something, something strange going on there, but there's a tempo change there, and there's all kinds of weird... I mean, I don't even, like... I gotta give it to Luke Webb playing drums. I don't know how he played drums around myself and Gav, because we were all over the shop in terms of our timing and when things begin and when things end. I'm having a lot of trouble laying this down in a cohesive timeline. Like, I've learnt music since 1996, thankfully, and I don't know, I don't know how this was done. It's ba it's baffling. It's unique in that regard. It's a unique thing, but it is very, very, very whacked out. And thank you for Luke and for Paul Walsh putting up with 